Let us continue our discussion of the conservation of energy applied to single stream devices. Diffusers are the opposite of a nozzle, for they convert kinetic energy to pressure energy. A diffuser is a nozzle operating backwards, where you have a small cross-sectional flow area at your inlet and a larger cross-sectional flow area at your exit. That is, fluid entering with a high velocity at your inlet will exit with a lower velocity to maintain continuity and thus will have an increased pressure. Due to the similarity with the nozzle, we will not do an example with a diffuser. We will rather focus our attention to throttles, where throttles reduce pressure energy within our system by placing a restriction within our flow. For throttle, we are going to assume a single stream, that is our flow enters at one inlet and exits at one exit. We also assume that there is no heat transfer or work being done by our throttle, and oftentimes we assume the same cross-sectional flow area at our inlet and exit. A throttle is schematically depicted below. Our fluid enters at state 1 with a mass flow rate of m.1 and exits at state 2 with a mass flow rate of m.2. Based on a continuity equation, m.1 and m.2 are equal. However, we place a restriction within our flow to decrease our pressure energy. And for a throttle to be analyzed within our framework of our conservation of energy, our inlet and exit have to be placed far enough away from our restrictive plate such that we can maintain continuity. If we look at the flow pattern, our fluid will enter our pipe and has to move around our restrictive plate. There's going to be an increase of velocity around our restrictive plate. However, once that fluid has the ability to move downstream from that plate, we will get a uniform velocity profile and thus we can properly evaluate our continuity equation.